Hey YouTube, I'm doing a little bit different video today than I normally do, but um, this is my shotgun, like fighting rig or uh, hunting website or whatever you want to call it. Something that if I bring to the, go to the range, this is what I bring. Um, this is my um, I've had this for about a year now. Very nice shotgun, Remington 870 Express, 20 gauge, but yeah. Um, see nothing special there. I have a sling on there. I drilled the stud for the sling myself. My dad, he was showing me how to do it, and on the drill press. So it was exciting about that. But yeah, I wouldn't really recommend. This is just an Allen, uh, five shot sleeve. I wouldn't recommend using it unless you have a sling stud, because I had it on there before the sling stud, and it just slides forward a lot. Maybe it's because that stock is just like three quarter of an inch shorter. So it doesn't come as wide back here, but yeah. Right now I have a part for the gunsmith because when I bought this, this is an aftermarket um magazine cap with a stud. And Remington makes theirs the same way. But you notice how it's not clicking. Did it click off? You won't be able to pick this up, but see in there how it's smooth in the inside? There's no ratchets. So, after a few shots, that loosens up and the barrel wiggles, and then gases get exposed, and then the shells don't extract, I mean, eject properly because the barrel is slid forward slightly. And yeah, so what the gunsmith is doing, he's just putting a stud on the factory cap. So instead of buying a whole new cap, that's what I would do. And the Remington, funny enough, they make the the ratchets on the 12 gauge and the 16 gauge, or the large frame, but they don't on the 20 gauge. So if you have a 20 gauge, 870, just have a gunsmith uh, put a stud on there. So yeah, this is my loadout that I have. Basically just stuff that I had laying around and put it together and it works nice. So this, if I'm hunting, I would not have on there because I sit in a tree stand. So that gets in the way of that, but this is just a first aid pouch. has a triangle bandage, two regular bandages with like the white pad and the straps going around the side. And then, yeah, iodine, stuff like that. Yeah, gauze and a triangle bandage. So that's that, and I just have a canteen, nothing special. My K-bar which it is bad lighting because it's at night and my room light has like this cover that makes it look yellow. Really nice darkened sheath. It look, I mean, it's brown off camera, but it looks like red. Yeah, really nice. I have a nice edge on there, so. Really nice knife. Really nice knife. So yeah, works good. And then I have... Can't remember what brand this is, just kind of like a knockoff shotgun shell pouch. The reason why it's all scrunched up, kind of, it's for 12 gauge, but I have 20 gauge in there, so it's smaller. See, yeah, those work nice, and I also have a uh, bandolier from Allen Company. It holds 25 shotgun shells, but it has like a, re it's really big. So I just like cut off the end like a good foot because it it's made for someone like it could, it could probably fit up to like a fifty or sixty inch waist something like that. Yeah, but knife over there. So canteen that I usually would or wouldn't have. And this I just got the other day when I went downtown. Well, I live in a small town of like twelve hundred people, so like the next town over as gun shops and antique and an antique store and stuff. So I bought this for eight dollars. And it's a Western USA W seventy seven G. And actually ironically enough, uh there's something on the end there. Um but the day I bought this, uh, Soviet Victory 1989 made a video of his contest entry, and I believe, I can't tell because of the lighting, but I believe it's the same knife. I thought that was kind of cool. 
But, and then this pouch, these are two compass first aid, compass slash first aid pouches. And the first one, I get it open. I have five rem oil wipes, and then yeah, you know, look, see that bulge? The bulge is there. But I have my ear protection that I use. Uh, they're like rubber and have this lanyard going around it. And then a bunch of foam ear protection if other people forget theirs or something. And this I have uh, just uh, two more rubber wipes just to keep sh more shape basically. And I have the more choke tubes. These are just in like a brass brush containers and stuff. But yeah, the one's a factory. Right now the one's in there is the factory modified. And then I have an aftermarket Carlson extra full, then a factory full. So I keep those in there, and then I have like a choke tube wrench in this little pouch thing. I don't, I don't really use it. Like You can just put it in your finger, but if you're wearing gloves, don't want to take them off or something where you want... Or you just wanted to get it tight on there, you can use that. But then there isn't just another pouch there. And I was, I mean, this works really good. I don't really have a, don't want to wait, spend a lot of money on these like SOE and SOE rigs for shotguns, even though they are really good. Made in America, but really expensive. So I just have this stuff here. And it works nice. So. It's just a little bit different of a different video that I thought I made because I've had this stuff for a while now, but just decided to make a video on it. And this is just my BDU, nothing special, just have a Marine Corps patch on there and a emblem on the collar. But that's what I generally wear. These are just some three dollar gloves. I want to get some better gloves for shooting in the winter. Um, mechanics. That's uh, mechanic with an X instead of a C. It's a brand of gloves. They make really good gloves for shooting for like 20 bucks and they're really nice. Fit really nice to your hand. And then I just have my cap there that I've... It's all like shredded up and stuff. Like the actual piece right there that folds over like shredded off. But So yeah, I just thought I'd make a video. Oh yeah, and the gun's unloaded before our safety sallies are freaking out, but yeah, I checked the gun that's unloaded. Not stupid, I don't have loaded guns in the house, but um, yeah, that's my video. And, yeah, comment, rate, and see if, like, other people that collect military stuff that don't just collect them, but use them, I think it's very cool. And think it like if if you have something similar to this, you could show it. So yeah, comment, rate, subscribe.